What if all Jurassic Park dinosaurs were from the Paleozoic Era? The Paleozoic Era came directly before the Mesozoic Era, an era that people call the Age of Dinosaurs. Well, this was the age before dinosaurs, and near the end of the Paleozoic Era, some dinosaur-like creatures started ruling the land, although most of them were closer to mammals than dinosaurs. This was the Permian period, so this is essentially what if all Jurassic Park dinosaurs were from the Permian. So let's get started. Starting off with the Velociraptors, I'd need to find some sort of small, scary hunter. And I know just the one. This is the Titanophonius, which may have a sort of silly sounding name until you realize it means Titanic Murderer. This thing grew up to 10 feet long, or 3 meters long, and was pretty terrifying. I think it could fill the raptor role pretty well. Next up, for the Brachiosaurus, we're gonna have to use the largest animal during the Permian period, which wasn't that tall or long, but pretty heavy. This is Scutosaurus. Scutosaurus weighed up to a ton, and I'm not even sure how to describe it. Some reptile-looking dog? Something very chubby, but it could reenact the scene in some way. Definitely not the classic scene we remember, but still pretty cool. Maybe instead of the grassland environment we see the Brachiosaurus in, we could see the Scutosaurus in some sort of Permian desert. For Parasaurolophus, I chose the Adaphosaurus. This was a pretty large herbivore, similar in size to the Scutosaurus, and while the Parasaurolophus was known for its head crest, Adaphosaurus is known for the sail on its back. For Triceratops, which is known for its cool head features, I chose the Tapinocephalus also known for its cool head features. Tapinocephalus had a large bony skull used for headbutting, and was pretty large as animals in the Permian go. Next up for Tyrannosaurus, I chose the largest carnivore to walk on land during the Permian, the Antiosaurus. This thing was pretty huge, weighing up to 600 kilograms or 1300 pounds, and it was about 5 meters or 16 feet long. In comparison to Tyrannosaurus, pretty small. But, as Permian animals go, huge. Next, for Dilophosaurus, I'm going to choose a type of Gorgonopsid, the Dino Gorgon. Why did I choose it? Because I like the name. It means terrible Gorgon. There were a lot of options for Gorgonopsids, so I just chose this guy because I think he's underrated. It was around the size of a large dog and pretty aggressive, so I don't think Dennis Nedry's surviving that. I mean, look at those saber teeth. Okay, lastly for the Gallimimus, we don't really have anything that matches the Gallimimus' build, but we do have these little guys that moved in herds, the Lystrosaurus. The largest Lystrosaurus specimens were somewhat close to the Gallimimus in size, so I think it works. And I think they could be pretty fast, too, with those sprawled out legs. Well, that was Permian Jurassic Park, or Permian Park. Be sure to like, subscribe, and comment with other countries, or in this case, time periods, I should do this to.